Hey guys, this is Big Ben here at Camping World, and we're going to go over this brand new floor plan from Salem. It's a Cruise Light 26 Ice, which I don't understand what the ice stands for. It doesn't really matter. It's a super cool, super cool camper, so let's get right to it. Starting in the front, you have your power jack. You don't have to crank up and down, up and down. You go through it, and light for at night, hook up onto your camper. Two 20-pound LPs, nice chip guard, so you're going down the road. It's not going to damage everything on the front just to hit that. Over here, you have your big storage, pass-through storage. You can get tables, chairs, coolers. The other side is a little bigger door. That's where you get the cooler part. But lots of stuff in there. You have prepped for a slide topper on this camper already. So if you want to put a slide topper, which I would recommend, because it's going to keep all the debris off top of your slide. And then you don't have to get up on a ladder and blow it all off every time you, before you leave the campground. Just put the slide topper on there, and you're good to go. Come on, follow me down here. You have your... 30 amp detachable power cord, so you don't have like the old campers where they retractable. That's just one more spot for critters to get into. City water, you have your manual stabilizer jacks and your black and gray water hookups right there. Right over here, you have your satellite cable satellite input. And on here, you have your full-size spare tire. Hopefully, you never need it, but if you do, easy to get to. And then you also have the pre-wired for a backup or monitor camera. Come on, oh, wait, wait there's more stuff. Tankless water here. Once it gets hot, you're going to have endless hot water and your black tank flush. So if you've never had one of those before or after you empty out your black tank, if you do it before, you create a tower of poo. Don't want to do that. Hook a hose on there. little thing inside spins around and flushes out. Really cool. Really nice feature. Coming around over here, you have a nice storage area. So you have storage at the front, storage here. Why? Because you never have too much storage in a camper. And then you have a huge power awning. Just press a button. And it's my favorite because you can lower it down. Let the rain wash off. And then if you want to make yourself look good, you like, you tell everybody around you, look how strong I am. It's so hard. Ugh. You know, it's, it's really fun. Solid steps, nice and solid. They go down to the ground, and then you pick them, pick them up, put them into the doorway, click them in, get to the campsite. There you go. Nice and easy. And the big grab handle, getting like me, getting a little older, it's nice to have a little extra traction to get in. Spot for your TV. And if you're like me, so I cook everything outside. I cook over there, but I cook. I have my uh, coffee maker, ice maker. Plug them in right here. Have a little table set up. You can have a TV outlet, so you can have a little TV set up if you want. Fresh water valve, tandem axle, and the other side of your awning. Now, this is really cool. This is the other side of the front storage. It's a bigger door, and this is where you can write love notes to each other. Like, I would love it if you would clean up after yourself. I would love it if you did the dishes today. That kind of love notes. Makes sense to me. So let's go take a look on the inside. Hey, guys. Now we're on the inside of this awesome 2024 Salem Cruise Light 26 Ice. Still don't know what the ice stands for, but it's cool. Maybe that's what it stands for. Ice. Cold. Anyway, really nice feature. Never seen this before. A sliding cupboard door with, look at how far those things pull. They pull out. Wow. I have to get out of the way. Those things pull out all the way, and you got two of them, and you just slide the door over so the kids aren't slamming the cupboard doors all the time. All your controls, you even have a dimmer switch here. So you just go like this, and the lights, they're going down, they're going, oh, now they're going back up. We'll go them down again. Keep on, there they go. That's really cool. You can set the mood for the evening just like that. And then you have your double wide bunks right here, two of them. With each little curtain. Now, some of them have those big curtains that go all the way down. You got to think about little brother, little sister down here, grabbing that curtain and pulling it back. And the older brother, sister up here is like, stop pulling the curtain away. Blah, blah. This one, you have two separate curtains. Eliminate a fight before it starts. And you got a window there, too, which is awesome. Over here, you got nice light and a storage spot down there. So down there is where you put your duffel bags, backpacks. Whatever else, because parents are always asking, where can we put all the extra storage stuff for the kids? Right next to that, you have a sink before the bathroom. Now, the benefit to this, let's say I'm in the bathroom, and, oh, we got to get that out of the way. Now, somebody else can use the sink, and I can use the bathroom at the same time. It makes sense to me, and I like having the sliding door, because the door doesn't swing out in your way, and then you have this nice big shower tub. And I'm six foot tall, 300 pounds, with the skylight, plenty of room. Whoa, Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plane. There you go. Shower's done. 
Do I look good? And then you have your nice foot flush toilet. Now, this is a big important thing for a lot of people. I'm a big guy, so I'm a little tight, but for most people, you're going to have plenty of room. Leg room, shoulder room, and woo. Nice little storage area down there for towels. And then you have your Versa Lounge. I'll get to that in a second. But it's really nice. you got storage down there. you got little uh, fabric totes down there. Take them in the house, load them up, bring them back out. And then you have the rest of this lounge. So this thing right here, you pick it up, bring it over here, so you have a U-shaped or a bigger dinette. But the configuration is in now. You have a huge couch, late, uh, lounging couch, whatever, and you can fold it down like so. And now you have a big bed. So if you have somebody big and tall, that's really nice, along with your storage underneath. See the little totes? Take them in the house, load them up, bring them back out. Nice and easy. And this is for me. Anyway, kitchen. Nice countertop area. One thing I really like right here is a huge, big window that does open up. In case you want a cross breeze, where'd you go? You're over there. And then this is brand new too, a shelf. Why? Because you never have too much storage in a camper. An extra shelf for storage. Countertop extender, three burner stove top. Flip it up out of the way, you have a backsplash. And then you have your convection microwave down below. So you can cook and bake just like a air fryer. A little storage down below there. And then your 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator. This is awesome. So it's 12 volt. What that does is get rid of all the other the metal fins and everything. It gives you a huge refrigerator so you can get gallons of milk, big juice boxes, bottles, whatever. And it cools a lot quicker and more efficiently. Now this is a secret compartment here. Are you ready? Woo! Look at that! That's your pantry. You got shelves there, shelves there, and the motion sensor light. Spot for a garbage can. Really great use of space. And they have the handle. And underneath that, you have your electric fireplace for those cool mornings. Don't use up all your propane. You can run that, and it has a nice ambiance to it. It puts off a lot of heat. Coming down this way, we have we have our uh, used to be a private bedroom, but somebody's in my bedroom. Doug, how's the bed? Very comfortable. Oh, look and look at this. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! So you can put it up. So now you can lay back and read, right, Doug? Nah, or watch TV. Or watch TV. Yep. And look at all the walk around space you have here because it's a cut off king, so you can walk around the bed, and you got a cubby and closet on both sides with extra outlets in case you have a CPAP. What's that over there, Doug? It's a closet. And more storage, more storage. You can never have too much storage in the camper. And then you have your ducted AC, so you have nice, even cooling. You don't have somebody in the front that's freezing, somebody in the back that's sweating. So what do you think, Doug? I love it. You love it. Me too. Look at all the space you have in here. You have tons of space, tons of storage, lots of great features. So give me a call. Big Ben, 715-614-2121.